Welcome! This video will instruct the user on how to use MPA forms within MPA Works. Forms allows the user to access blank forms for the purpose of either viewing or editing. Please note, editable forms must be created and saved with Adobe Acrobat Pro 5.0 setting in order to use this feature. Also, there is a nominal fee associated with the use of this feature. Please contact your support account manager if you would like to use MPA Forms. To access MPA Forms within MPA Works, you will need to be either in a client, staff, or funding source record. On the MPA Works main screen, click on either client, staff, or funding source from the left-hand side. For this example, we'll be accessing MPA Forms from a client record. With the client list displayed, Select the client's name whose record you wish to edit. To enter the record, simply hit enter or double click on the client's name. The record will be opened. Click on the notes and issues tab. In the middle portion of the record, click on the MPA forms button. The MPA forms page will be displayed. Here the user can decide to upload a new form, fill out a blank form, or edit an existing form. Let's review uploading a PDF document first. In the upload area of the screen, you can either select a PDF to upload by clicking in this area or by dragging and dropping. The file upload window will appear and will give the user the opportunity to enter information about the form. Please enter a name for the form in the name field. Use a drop down menu to select a form type. A brief description of the form can be entered in the description field. Once these fields have been completed, click on the Save button to save your work. Next, we will review filling out a blank form. Returning back to the MPA Forms page, click on the Fill Out Blank Form button. A list of available forms will be displayed. You can search for a form by typing into the search box. You are also able to choose a document type from the drop-down menu to narrow down the search. To fill out a form, simply select a form name from the list. Then click Next in the lower right corner. The blank form will be displayed. Click on each field of the form to enter your data. Once this has been completed, click Next to proceed. Before moving on, let's review the preview screen. A preview button is located at the top of the form page. You can click on the preview button to review what the completed form will look like. Note, when using Internet Explorer, a preview will be downloaded to the browser. Please open the download in order to preview the form. Once the document has been previewed, either click on the back arrow in the upper left corner to return to the form or click Next in the lower right corner to move forward. The Save Form window will now be displayed. This is where you will set a save location and add information about the form. You can either save the form to the entity it was already associated with, or select another entity to save the form to. The latter will be covered later in this video. Enter the name of the form in the Save As field. Note, this is a required field. The Summary field is optional and is where you can enter a brief summary of the form. Next, a description of the form can be added. Again, this is optional. If you would like to add an optional expiration date, either enter a date in the field provided or select a date from the mini calendar. Click on the selection box if you would like to add a warning for the expiration. This selection is optional. As mentioned earlier, you can choose to save the form to another client, staff, or funding source. To do so, click in the Select Other field. With a drop-down menu displayed, choose either Client, Staff, or Funding Source. Once selected, a window will be displayed. Here you can search for the needed entity or choose the entity from the list. Once the entity has been selected, click the OK button in the lower right corner. Returning back to the Save Form screen, the name of the newly selected entity will now be displayed in the Save To area. Click on Save in the lower right corner to save the form. Next, you will receive a confirmation page that states the form was saved. 
please click either Back to Template to take you back to the list of blank forms or Close to close the page. Now, let's go over viewing or editing a previously filled out form. Starting on the MPA Forms main screen, click on View or Edit Form. A list of forms associated with the selected entity will be displayed. From here, simply follow the process of completing the form as mentioned earlier in this video. If you have any questions about using MPA Forms, please contact our support team via email at support at codemetro.com or at 877-796-9883.